Hey guys, so we're here back in with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Voyager Class Dinobot. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, as I said before today, we are taking a look at the man, the myth, the legend, Dino Bot. He is a Voyager class figure, part of the Transformers War for Cybertron line. This is the Kingdom series, the third installment in the War for Cybertron line, I should say. I gotta tell you, I've been really looking forward to this figure, and I don't think it disappoints too too much there are a couple things i do have uh, some criticisms about but as far as the figure goes i think it's i think it's i right. uh, starting with the accessories here the accessories as it were because he only has a couple um, he's got his iconic sword here if i can get that out of his hand funny it kind of tabs in weird it goes in the three millimeter peg port but it's a square peg so I guess it covers the circumference of set a port, but uh, it's not a circular peg, so that's interesting. But you could take this and you could peg it into the tail weapon here and give him a bow. I believe it's a bow, right? And you can knock it out of his hand. This peg kind of sucks. It's not really long enough to have enough uh, kind of grip stay in there but it will if you don't knock it out like an idiot like i do but uh yeah you can have his kind of tail bow i will say this does not tab on the side of his arm like uh most of the other figures so that's a bit of a bummer but uh, what you can do is you can close this up and for weapon storage he does have the uh port where it goes into for beast mode on the back you just gotta plug it in the right way It was going in there there we go well you could store it back there and make it look like he has a huge johnson so that's funny hopefully i don't get flagged for that i don't really care um but looking at this guy he is really cool tight ass articulation on this guy he has some of the tightest joints i've ever gotten on transformer a little bit loose in the ankle hinge but not too too bad definitely not skelegod bad uh, there are definitely ways to fix that, so, uh, and I don't feel it's necessary here. But, um, yeah, he's uh, a little bit lanky in the shoulders. I wish his shoulders were maybe twice as buff as they are, because uh, I remember Dinobot having more pronounced kind of shoulder armor pieces, more or less. He looks like he's got more just, like, flesh, uh, meat and bone arms there instead of the armor plates he usually has but given the fact that the back is all kind of gapped out like that i wouldn't be surprised if a third party company comes in and makes some add-ons for this dude like that uh, that would be a really easy thing to do i would think but uh, the head definitely looks like dinobot you can tell it's dinobot it's got the blue face and everything and uh, shout out to Wampire, my buddy Wampire. He said this guy is a little bit like a knight. I could see that. I wonder if that was the inspiration for the live action Dinobots. Not to be confused with uh, the other Dinobots, uh, Grimlock and then this guy has no association with them. He's a lot smarter than they are, too. You could see his raptor heads enclosed in his chest there, his tails folded up on the back, and his raptor arms are actually in his armpits. So that's interesting. A really solid transformation with this guy too. But um, articulation on this guy, his head does rotate. It's on a ball joint. Works pretty good. Shoulders move forward and back. Again, really stiff swivel there. And really nice tight hinge. Uh, in and out. You can hang up. Whoa! You can bring it all the way up. 
he's got like a secondary uh, hinge joint there, which is more or less due to transformation. I don't think these tab down, do they? No, they don't. They don't seem to. It just seems like they uh, sit there, which is fine. They're nice and tight. It's not like Rat Trap, where there's that little bit of looseness. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel. Again, nice and tight. Single joint at the elbow, which moves both ways. He's got a swivel at the wrist. I will say, this is one of my other criticisms. He's got a metal pin showing there. But that's not that big a deal to me. I can ignore that. Uh, but he does have a hinge in the wrist. As well as an uh, opening hand. You can see the 3 millimeter port in there. But, uh, you can close his hand up. They probably put that pin there to uh, make his beast mode a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but um, yeah, it is a bit of a, it is a bit gaudy there. It's a big silver pin, but he is technically a robot, so I guess he can get away with it to some extent. He does have a nice tight waist swivel, uh, but I will say he's got a little bit of bobble to him, but I think that's because of transformation. You kind of need that to get the legs where they need to go. So, yeah, it's a little gappy down there, but it's not really bad, I'll say. And they did have a twisty tie shoved in there, too, or one of those plastic tie things, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything. It just feels a little bit uh, ploppy dop dop where it pegs in, but it's not loose, so I don't know what the deal with that is. It's kind of confusing, actually. Uh, definitely not as bad as Roboto, though. A Motu Origins figure. Which, uh, yeah, still haven't replaced because Mattel. Um, hips kick forward and back. Ooh, get that out of the way. You can kick really far forward. Kick back a decent amount. Go out to the side. He's got a thigh cut, which is tight as hell. So be careful with that. You don't want to shear that peg although that's probably a massive peg in there you still don't want to don't break your toys especially when they're rare as crap like this guy he's got a single hinge at the knee he's got a rocker which is again nice and tight and he's got an ankle hinge which is a little loose but doesn't really sit too far forward if you bend his knees a bit he'll stand for you just fine even if the feet are bent forward all the way so yeah, a uh, really solid figure. He's got a little bobble in the torso. That's really my only major complaint, other than maybe the pins and the uh, lack of bulk in the shoulders. Kind of takes away a little bit of that aesthetic, but and it's Dinobot. I love this character. Uh, my first introduction to Dinobot was actually a video here on the YouTubes. It was... Uh, it's an animated music video, for those of you who remember those from 10 years ago. I've actually made a few of those on one of the old channels. A lone tear for the lone channels. Or the old channels. <laughs> but uh, it was a music video of a bunch of clips of this guy, and it, the song was uh, Blaze of Glory by uh, Bon Jovi. You know, before they sucked. So uh, that was kind of my introduction to Dinobot, and I always thought he was a badass character since then. And uh, that's actually around the same time I started binge-watching uh, Beast Wars. I was a kid around that time, too. Uh, really solid show, I gotta say. It, it wasn't too bad. The animation, you know, it's dated, but I don't think it was too, too bad. I may need to go back and rewatch this show just for uh, shits and giggles, but... Putting his tail on the back here. I can never get it plugged in right the first time. There we go. His tail plugged into his lower back, not his ass. It's time now that we take a look at some comparisons. Taking a look at some comparisons for Robot Mode. Here is Dinobot next to the Leader Class Megatron and Voyager Class Optimus Primal, which I've already reviewed. And as you can see, he's the middle guy. He's a little taller than Primal, but still shorter than Megatron. Rightfully so, because Megatron is a leader class. And at this point in time, I think it's best to say that these are the three best figures in this line thus far. 
And last, but certainly not least, we've got our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus, the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. So with that being said, let's get this guy transformed into his beast mode. And here we have Dinobot in his Velociraptor beast mode. And I gotta tell ya, not too shabby, not too great either. We'll get into that. But uh, for those of you who are wondering, you can take his little buddy rat trap here. And sit him on his back like a pony. Which I guess is something they did in the show, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, you could totally ride him like a pony. That's cool. Taking a look at Dinobot. See, it's got a lot of nice paint detail on it. It looks like a Velociraptor. Right down to the back there. All the way to the end of his tail, which, yes, does have kind of an orangish tip to it, but that's not that big a deal. You can see his hands there. Which I believe Velociraptors, their hands are down when they are running. Um, although it is weird, you can't move them out uh, any further than that. They're constantly in this right angle position, which is a little bit awkward, not going to lie. Uh, but articulation on this guy, you can hinge his jaw. It is very stiff, though, so watch out. Uh, you can also hinge the top of his head if you can't get the jaw to move. So you can open and close his mouth pretty easy. But again, it is a little stiff. His shoulders are on either ball hinges or just straight up ball joints. And they hinge in and out and forward and back. He's got a single joint at the elbow, which does not have a rotation. I thought it did for some reason, but it does not. He's got ball jointed hands, which really only allow him to bend back, so not a lot there. He does have a hinge at the knee with a swivel at the knee. Then he's got a swivel at the foot with a hinge, and the toes are hinged. Uh, nothing in the hip is the way the transformation works. And then the tail, nothing there either. So there you go. Not a whole lot going on with beast mode and I will say it's a little bit thick down here they could have maybe condensed this a little bit more had the legs a little bit more flush against the body I think this would have looked a little better but as it stands it looks like a velociraptor with a pair of robot legs on the bottom but there again it ain't a whole lot you can do about that just due to the fact that it turns into a freaking robot so yeah, pretty pretty self-explanatory there. But uh, he does look nice in his beast mode. And again, you can bring in core class rat trap. As I said before, you could totally ride him like a pony. Which is both epic and adorable at the same time. <laughs> I guess they were buddies in the show. If I'm not mistaken, which is kind of funny because Rat Trap's more like comedic relief and Dinobot's the one with the tragic backstory and end story, if I'm being quite honest. Straight up die. So, with that being said, let's take a look at some comparisons. Taking a look at some comparisons for Beast Mode, here is Dinobot once again next to the Leader Class Megatron and the Voyager Class Optimus Primal. Is it just me? Does he seem a little bit oversized for a Velociraptor? I figured them and gorillas were about the same size, but hey, I could be wrong. And last, but certainly not least, we've got our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus and the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. And no, unfortunately, unlike Rat Trap, these two are a little bit too big to be riding this guy like a pony. But with that being said, let's get this guy transformed back into his robot mode and wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and what else can I say about this figure? It's a pretty solid release from this line. 
Might be my second favorite that I've actually gotten my hands on. I know I still need to pick up Rhinox and Air Razor, and they recently just revealed Waspinator, Scorponok, and Wingfinger, who is a fossilizer. I believe there's a green repaint of Vertebrake, but let's just face it, there's no way that's going to top any of the future releases from this line. This is, I want to say, the second best figure in this line so far. I've messed with most of them at this point. As much as I like Megatron, I think he's getting dethroned by this guy right here. Because the Dinobot, and we don't have a lot of really good Dinobot figures. There's a couple, uh, including the Vintage Toy actually is really solid. But this one... Yeah, it might not have the shoulders I prefer on Dinobot. They're not particularly bulky, so his arms come off a bit lanky. And he does have that kind of weeble wobble waist issue, but it's not loose. It just kind of bobbles around a little bit. I just feel like that's part of the construction that's not particularly the joint's fault. So uh, I'm going to say pick this guy up. If you're a fan of Beast Wars, this is a really solid release. I think he's a really awesome character and a really nice figure. Uh, my only other complaint would be that I wish the tail kind of shield bow thingamajigger in his left hand there. I to think about that for a minute. Uh, pegged into his arm on the side somehow. It uh, cannot do that as it stands. But that is a very minor complaint. Uh, he's still got it. He's still got the sword. He still looks like Dinobot. That's all I really wanted. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one. Stay tuned. I'm finally going to be uploading that Ractonite review tomorrow. I figured I'd just make it a Transformers weekend. Uh, if I don't, well, then I got something else. Some secret surprise that even I don't know about. But we'll see. But most likely it's going to be racked tonight, so don't don't get your hopes up. Um, <laughs> and uh, as I said before in the Dark Father wave overview from DC Multiverse, I still got to wrap up my Dark Knights Metal Team with the Red Death Two Pack. That'll probably be coming on Monday. I'm not gonna lie; it's probably gonna get that done sooner rather than later. It keeps getting pushed because of new arrivals but i think it's finally time we bust that thing out and review it and then i got some old mythic legions that i promised last week but if you know i took a break because i was getting ragged out man video every day takes a lot out of you oh that being said if you haven't already hit me up on instagram at overlord productions for live unboxing videos of all kinds of stuff and in case you do miss them i upload them to igtv afterwards so you can watch them at the full train wreck glory at your own leisure and as always, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you like it, don't like it. If you're jonesing for it, we're going to pass on it. Personally, I don't know a lot of people who don't want this figure. So I'm very uh, interested in seeing if someone is going to pass on this guy. Because it is Dinobot. Dinobot is awesome. Arguably one of the best Transformers characters as far as the story arc goes, in my opinion. As I said before, I got into Dinobot via a video someone made on the YouTubes with the song Blaze of Glory by Bon Jovi. So, <laughs> you know, before they suck. But with that being said, as always, keep the comments civil. This world sucks enough as it is. Especially when hair metal bands go kind of soft cock rock. And until next time, catch you guys later.